So mm. Brenda Wairimo's uh, film, which is Subira, has been yeah. submitted. That's a good one. That one. For the That's Oscars. We don't yeah. know if, they'll be, if it'll be nominated just yet. Yeah. Um, but, crossing fingers, where do you think we're at in the film industry in mm. Kenya? And mm. do you think we should be nominating more? Or yeah, I've worked with Brenda Wairimo when we did Sugar. And she is, till today we speak, and she's one of the loveliest people and very hardworking. So it, one of the things that you must learn from, and for young people must learn from this story, more than the recognition that comes, you know, that is Oscar, you know, worthy, is that Manze hard work pays eventually. Mm. Like, consist, constant, consistent content. I always tell young people about those three Cs. You must constantly, consistently create stuff that allows people, that allows that content tell your narrative like you don't have to post on instagram if, you, that, if that's not your thing you don't have to shout about what you do but people watch people are looking at what you're doing and it pays off eventually so i'm hoping that happens but also it's 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 a big call to the government that as we are constantly trying to um you know to uh, you know put a microscope on the content that kenyans are creating let's not forget that Kenya is still a difficult place to shoot movies in. So even when the Kenyans are doing great stuff outside there, foreigners are finding it very hard to shoot in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And sometimes to even shoot Kenyan stories, where you find, like, for example, I know one of the founders of Shofko, Kennedy Odede, they want to shoot his film in Kenya, but they find it very difficult to get permits and to get prorated costs and whatever. Mm -hmm. So imagine if Brenda was to win an Oscar, but her next film would never be in Kenya, because it's difficult to shoot here. So we must be very intentional about these wins. Yeah, they should be for everyone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a really good yeah. point. Yeah. True story. Yeah. We have a lot of creatives. We have a lot of, a lot of amazing directors, mm. script writers, actors. But the government, if you if if now you're found shooting in the streets, hey, hey, my brother, you see fire. Mm. But if the government is just go like, what are they shooting? It's the film. L tell the police no if anybody is shooting yeah. like for example let me talk about uae the mm. way dubai was marketed to the world mm. if you go to dubai you take pictures you post amazing places you dubai mall where guys don't bother you like you don't don't take a picture here don't face this side yeah. no you know we don't like your face no mm. take a picture and the guys like where's that place then they want to travel mm. there but kenya we have a lot of amazing places where people don't know because for example even where we're shooting today mm. if i was just coming and start slaying by the pool and everything they might imagine you come like yeah my friend what? yeah what's that yeah. Who are you? Yeah. Okay, why are you shooting? Yeah. Do you have the permit? Yeah. Then now it's a whole. The other time we're shooting in the streets of Nairobi. What are we do? Yeah, it's oh, not yeah, like actually, that happened. It's like, it's like a few days then, ago. Yeah. So that like we shot and every, every, people are taking photos and everything. These are fans. Yeah. And, and, and the interesting thing is that the place where we're shooting, mm. well, the people who are marketing, come and stop us. <laughs> so Imagine. Like, you can They're like, like, well, are you guys shooting? <laughs> well, no, we, we, we are a team. We, we work yeah. together. Yes, it's, and it, it, it becomes a power play yeah. thing. So that instead of us, for example, now enjoying the wins that Brenda Wairimo brings, now, for example, and I hope and pray that the film Subira will be able to showcase Kenya in that light, mm. which means now that everybody will be able to see, okay, this Kenya that people are talking about, from Lupita, now it's Brenda. Now, th these people have a big story to tell. Which means that people want to know more about us, but they will yeah. not. Why? Because we stop ourselves from telling those stories. Yeah. And also challenge to even we and how we consume content. Why do we have to wait for Obina, for Anto, for Sharon to make it big for us to then remember, ah, you know me, I school with Sharon. You know me, I know yeah, Sharon. You boy. know me, I met Sharon. <laughs> no, 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 we have to celebrate our wins now. Right. And also even when you highlight a story like this, mm. for me, I love that a lot because we're highlighting and people forget that they will be watching the media and how we promote them for them to say these guys do bring some media worthy to the Oscars. Mm. So let's continue loving each other. The same thing. When the cinema, when the Kenyan movies premiere, yeah. the government can decide and subsidize the rate. Yeah. Tell guys, listen, we want to fill up like 10 cinemas. Yes. Let's go watch this film. Yes. You're not paying 500, it's 200 bob, or it's free. Yeah. The government can pay, and they pay for the cinema. The actors get their money, and everybody gets their money. Yep. So people can go, because the only time we go to watch the cinema is when there's Fast Furious, yeah. or any other international movie. Yeah. I see if our movie is not international. It starts with here. The yeah. minute we think it, we do it, it becomes. And I wow. think it also starts with us. Mm -hmm. So not just, like, sure, the government has a big role to mm -hmm. play, but it starts mm -hmm. with us supporting mm -hmm. our own. True.